Hey guys, look folk here and welcome to another FIFA 20 video and today guys we're taking a look at the new Lucas Olazar SBC that has just been released. Uh, there is actually the availability as well to do a, a loan version of this SBC but sadly guys I don't actually have enough time tonight to be able to go and play the games with this card so unfortunately it's just going to have to be an SBC analysis for today but uh, even so this CDM card being position change from a left back to a uh, to a CDM looks absolutely insane. Get uh, Earlier on today, they actually reviewed the CDM Mbappé, who was converted from a right back to a CDM. So I'm thinking to myself, I will actually go and do his SBC like tomorrow, like off camera, but I won't record the video on doing it. But it's interesting to see like how much you know it loved Mbappé when he was positioned into a CDM from a full back position. It could very well maybe be the same case with his Olazar cards, and I believe it's the exact same as the Henrik Mkhitaryan SBC in that it's 285 rated squad. I'm pretty certain um, it's an 84 squad, an 85 squad with. Two informs, a small prime gold players pack, okay, and a prime electron players pack. So, okay, packs in return. He's a fantastic looking card. I mean, look at those stats, absolutely superb. Let's get into his in game stats. Three star, three star, that's fine for a CDM. I don't have a problem with that whatsoever. Uh, what you know, whatsoever. Five foot nine, high, high work rates, not too bad. Seems decent. I probably would like him to be a little bit taller than five, but uh, than five foot nine, but it's not the end of the world. Like, you know, CDM cards, I like can say, are still beasts, and he's like a pretty small card, but um. He looks great for either a CDM or a sentiment position. Um, but let's get into his in-game stats. Good card. Good, good card. Great pace, um, which is obviously just a, a, a nice part to having, uh, to, you know, to any card that you use. His shooting stats are a lot better than the Mbabu card, for example. Um, only 71 finishing, but, you know, 85 long shots, 88 shot power, 84 position. You're going to be able to bang in some long-range shots of him. Uh, passing stats, 80 version, 85 short passing. I would like his long passing to be a bit higher, but, you know, toss like a, um, you know, a powerhouse chem style, an artist chemistry style, and that passing is going to be well into the 90s for most of his stats. Amazing curve and free kick accuracy as well. His dribbling stats are going to make him a nice smooth card for the position on the pitch. Yes, I would like his reactions to be a little bit higher, but his composure is nice. His ball control balance is superb. That's good. His defensive stats are phenomenal as well. 85 interceptions, 88 stand tackle, um, 87 slide tackle as well. Uh, great term, stamina as well. Strength at 80s, okay, but you know, again, I'd probably say maybe the, the you know the best camera style for this card is probably the powerhouse. You know, get that. I think powerhouse increases physicality and passing. Or I, maybe it doesn't better. I, I'd probably say having a look at this card, a chem style best applied to him will, would be one that increases his passing and physicality. You know, get that strength up into the mid uh, into the mid eighties or in the, you know even into the low nineties or something, and get that vision up, get that long passing up. But um, on the whole, you know, it looks a fantastic card. And uh, with the two requirements of the SBC, what we, we're talking maybe about a hundred, just over a hundred thousand coins. That's not bad value for money on like the uh, you know kind of first glance. But of course, let's have a look at some of the other CDM options. Um, from La Liga, and let's just have a quick look to see what we've got now. Of course, it's the Moy Gomez cards, who is a is a card you can earn for free. Who um, you can eventually earn the eighty eight rated version of him. I believe he is at a. So there's Moy Gomez. I mean, his defending and physicality is absolutely nowhere near. So we do need to look at CDMs here, maybe ideally. Um, you got Sergio Busquets. Look at of him. Casemiro is a decent card. This is a believe. I believe this is the screen willing card value. He was phenomenal. He's like a he's like a, a Patrick Vieira style type of player. He was really really good to use. And then of course you got this Olazar card. I don't think Casemiro and Busquets suit the you know the meta. Certainly not Busquets because of his lack of pace. You know Casemiro's got some decent cards and stuff. Uh, I mean comparing between all the time winning card value, I want to have a quick look at some of winning card value stats and what he goes for on the market. I mean his stats. Look at his 99 shot power, his 94 strength. Yes, his agility and balance is absolutely horrific. Um, but his passing stats are great. His defensive stats are great. He's a very similar player. And what does he go for? on the market just so we can kind of get like a you know is he going to be value for money for this card well he is twenty one thousand coins i was not expecting that wow okay that that shocks me i am shocked that he is that i was expecting him to be at least like 60 or seventy thousand coins that's interesting because i rate this guy a lot when i used him and olazar is if i'm even pronouncing his name right is, is he's a good card he is a good card but I'm just wondering, 
whether he is he's not you know don't get me wrong he's not terrible value for money he he goes down in my opinion as at least the second best cdm now in la liga uh, of course there's cards like valverde's future stars card but he costs like hundreds of thousands of coins so we're talking about like cdm cards from la liga that are under like two hundred thousand coins these are the two best ones to go for no question about it um although has got the pace which car value doesn't have he of course has got the amazing uh, agility and balance that you know within car value is horrific in those areas but between the two then the very very similar uh, cards on the whole. I think, you know, Olazar... <sighs> You know, who do I think is a better card? I mean, his agility and balance is superb. His shooting's fine for his position as well. I mean, you could easily have both of them in your team. Like, I think this card is decent value for money. I don't know. I can't call who's the better card because I haven't used Olazar in game, so I can't 100% say. But on the face of it, he seems decent value for money because, you know, he's going to go down as one of the best CDMs from the Liga. Good nation... You know, decent club, I suppose, as well at Celta Vigo. But um, yeah, you know, it, it's a nice position change. Once again, EA have done well, you know, reflecting him from being position change to a left back to a CDM. I think it'd be a decent card. Whether I think it'd be quite as good as Carvalho, maybe, but it, it, it's so hard to call. I just can't get over how William Carvalho is so cheap. I think if you've got a La Liga team, you need to try out that card because he's genuinely phenomenal, or at least he was when he was doing the screen promo. Obviously, it, it, it's been a few months since then. Maybe that agility and balance. Uh, maybe he is a bit of a problem now, but uh, yeah, on the whole, Olazar, I don't really see any problem to his card whatsoever. He seems a good, solid card for around about 100,000 coins. I think that's decent value for money, in my personal opinion. But anyway, guys, that is going to finish up the video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.